Thanks, Tom. Tonight, family and friends are mourning the loss of a rising teenage athlete and her friend killed in a crash caused by a suspected drunk driver. Sad story. We just got this picture of a vigil held tonight at Eckerd College in St. Petersburg, where one of the victims, Rachel Price, was on the soccer team. Channel 9's Renee Stoll is live at Melbourne High School, where Rachel and Jamari Cook both went to school. Renee? While Price's former soccer coach was just too distraught to talk here at Melbourne High School, however, she said she did want to rally the team to deal with this loss, a loss that now the whole campus is aware of. The soccer field at Melbourne High School may be dark tonight, but friends of 18-year-old Rachel Price say she was a natural at lighting it up with her athletic talent before she graduated last year. She was ranked as a top soccer player in the state, as seen in this YouTube video playing for Eckerd College, wearing jersey number six. She was a fantastic athlete and even greater of a person. Evident even in her commentary on this video. The team is starting to become a family. Instead of celebrating a win, Price's college teammates are instead celebrating her life. This picture is of a candlelight vigil held tonight at Eckerd College after she and her passenger, 19-year-old Jamari Cook, were reportedly killed by a drunk driver. Do you have anything to say to the families of those two young people that were involved in that deadly crash with you last night? Only Eyewitness News was there as 47-year-old Randall Curley bonded out of jail less than 24 hours after killing the two teens. Family tried to cover our cameras, but reports say he cut in front of Price at Old Melbourne Highway and U.S. Highway 192 in St. Cloud. According to investigators, Curly blew over one and a half times a legal limit in a breathalyzer test four hours after the accident. That's how easy it is for just for people to lose their lives in the blink of an eye because of one person's mistake. Now, according to troopers, Curly had dropped off his children before this deadly accident. Now, I was in contact tonight with a third driver, another vehicle involved in this accident. However, she did not sustain any injuries, and she certainly said that she did not want to speak about this accident. For now, we're reporting live in Melbourne and Brevard County. Renee Stoll, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. So heartbreaking for those families. Thank you, Renee. We're staying on top of other major news tonight. About three hours ago, President Obama signed an order to...